So I'm going to start a new little project here where I'm going to release a video every week telling the story of one photo. Now that might be the story of how I made the photo, why I made the photo, the technical aspects behind it, but I want to just tell the story of one photo because I do always want to make sure that I'm a photographer first. And I do, don't ever want to get too far away from the fact that I make still images and I love them and I want to talk about them. So I thought I would start this series off here with the story of the photo that I see every morning when I roll out of bed. Now I knew that having a baby along was going to change the photo making options I, I had. So I was up long before dawn. Now that's probably not that different than my normal traveling habits, but it felt very prescient on this first international trip with Lena along with us. We were in Lisbon because someone had once told us that Portugal was a great place to bring a baby. And it is. And if you get to have a baby, you should definitely take your infant with it. But um, that said, traveling with an infant is different. And we were still learning how to make the best of it. Never being able to stray that far from our host, our hostel. Also, just because our luggage had gotten lost along the way. And so we always had to be able to be able to get back quickly. We have our clothes again! But in that, that meant that we got to spend a lot of time exploring the core of Old Lisbon, um, which is beautiful. And like many European cities, is a mix of modern and old at the same time. That You can have H&M or McDonald's sitting under hundreds and hundreds of year old porticos and having these ancient trolleys working their way up and down the hills. And it was a really, it just made it for a very romantic experience to be having our first international trip with our daughter. So the day, a couple of days before, I'd walked through this area of the Alfalma district, which was one of the more well-known kind of touristy areas, but also old areas of, of Lisbon. And I found this little spot that I was excited about. It was a place where one cobblestone street came along the ridge and was met by another one winding its way up around the corner. And that was one that one of the trolleys came along. And so I've been up before sunrise. Up early for sunrise this morning in the Afama district. I was trying to take the photo. And I got to this point and as I was framing it up, it was interesting because I was gonna use my Canon 5D Mark IV, but I realized that in order to show the full frame, I was shooting with my 24 millimeter lens, but I was actually gonna shoot it vertically, which is something I don't do very often. With the 24 millimeter, if you're standing at ground level and you're trying to photograph a building, it often will create that the effect of the building falling away from you because it distorts how small it gets as it gets up to the top of the building. But with the way that the road S curved and wound up the hill, I was gonna be much higher than the subject coming up the hill. And I was about eye level with the second or third story of the building, meaning that I was able to basically keep the camera normal like normally vertical without distorting upwards and therefore not having that same issue but in this spot what made me most excited was just the confluence of all the different eras of lisbon kind of to coming together to have the classic tiles that are well known throughout portugal to have the cobblestones and then have this spot where the trolley came rolling up the hill but then the thing that i didn't expect after i got this photo i was just patient until the trolley came through and i made the photo but the thing that pulled it all together and why this photo like feels so 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 well connected to me was that it was actually being followed by a Lisbon taxi, which are well known because they have these like teal roots, which make them stand out. It just feels like it's all these different aspects of Lisbon life put into one photo. But the end, why is this photo the one that hangs on my wall? I mean, I'm not Portuguese. I just had one really good trip there. And that's probably true. It's probably the romanticized view of it. But I'm also pretty okay starting off every morning with a romanticized view of what my life looks like and the life that I want to lead and the connectedness to the place that I'm in. And so it always just sets me into a good mood of like, yeah, there's cool things to see in this world. There's cool images to take. All right, let's get up and get going. That is one heck of a sunrise.